Welcome to TNN. I'm Courtney. And I'm Batman. Really? Fine, I'm Levi. Let's see what's happening currently and what's coming up in the next few weeks. Thanks, Courtney, and welcome back to this week's current and upcoming events. And we're here with Emily, Kayla, and Beloved. Today is National Prime Rib Day, so make sure to go down to your good old Outback Steakhouse and get you a nice saucy prime rib. Doesn't that sound rib -tastic? I think you should leave the puns to Levi. <laughs> um, this week, there's also a few middle school soccer games, so if you have time, come out and support our middle schoolers. And there's only four more weeks of school left. Are you guys excited? Yes. I'll miss the teachers, but yes. Of course I am. And don't forget, next Tuesday is National Teachers Day, so don't forget to thank your teachers. And that's it for this week's current and upcoming events. That day is always seasoned to perfection. Okay. Speaking of per season to perfection, let's head to Chef Bryant with <clears throat> What's for Lunch. Hello, today we're outside with assistant chef Monroe, and today we will be making trail mix with natural ingredients. Let's go on an adventure. Wow, look at these so conveniently placed mixed nuts and berries. In a container, the it contains walnuts, almonds, and cashews. Raisins. What's that over there? I think those are just more berries. Let's take a closer look. Wow, <laughs> those are M and I always knew they grew in trees. Who would throw this away? A monster, that too. Stop exaggerating. No, really, who grows this kind of fur? Anyway, when you have acquired all these ingredients, place them in a bowl. Put the lid on it and shake it over. And there's how you make trail mix with natural ingredients. Did you hear that? I don't think you're lying. Let's run. Wow, that trail mix sounds really good. I heard that stuff makes you go nuts. I wonder if it's true. Speaking of it, I did have some yesterday. It's good. Last Friday, we had a surprise field trip. Let's see what people have to say about it. And after that, we'll head to the sports lounge with Eliani. Thank you, I'm with Jade Mitchell here. So. How excited were you when you heard that there was going to be a secret field trip? I was really excited, and I think we all had a lot of fun. What was your favorite part about that field trip? I really loved playing wiffle ball against the other parks, and I think our park did really good. Did your park win? Sadly, no. It was We were one point off, but next time. Next time. Um, back to you. Hi, I'm here with Colin today to talk to him about the surprise field trip. How excited were you when you figured out you were going on a field trip? I was pretty excited about it. That's good. What game did you play first? Well, we played reverse charades first. That was fun. Did you win? Mm -hmm. One time we did. That's good. Well, how was the wiffle ball tournament? It went pretty good. Did your team win? The f we won against Acadia and then we lost to Sequoia. So yeah, Sequoia is much better. Than and that's a Yosemite lot. and Acadia. <laughs> Were you sad you missed math class? Uh, no, not really. 
I'll have to tell Mr. Moeller. Thank you. Thank you. There was an intense sports war between the three parks, especially during the wiffle ball tournament. Let's go to Micah for the insight on the event. Thanks, Eliani. And we're here with Malia Moulds. Emilia, how do you think you played today? Amazing. Mm. And everybody's wondering, why did you refuse to use the big bat? Because I'm used to using the skinny one. Mm. And how did it feel to win? Wonderful. Mm. Back to you in the studio. And thank you for tuning in. Psych, we have a brand new segment. Let's tune into our hidden camera. This week, we decided to put a hidden camera. So this week, we decided to prank Dane Askew. So practically, the eighth graders are gonna leave the room and Dane Askew is gonna walk in and we're not gonna be in there. And we're gonna see how he reacts. And then we're gonna walk in like nothing happened. So better watch out, cause maybe the hidden camera will go on you. All right, I need you to pick up your test and your pencil and come with me. I'm going to check down here. We'll see if they're in the balcony. Yes, Tell them, like, they are in big trouble. Just cover your test. Because yes, they need to be back in here. I'm going to check this direction. If you would like to smile for the camera, you can. I asked him if he was the one, like y'all left him to life. Where have you been? In the middle of a test, you just left? I'm sorry. <laughs> Dane, you are our candid camera. We just left you to scare you. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've been videoing you. <laughs> and that wraps it up for today, folks. Thanks for joining us on TNN.